Okay, so today we have IQ 12 in the house, which comes out of the box with FunTouch OS 14. Today, let's find out how much FunTouch OS have been improved with Android 14. It also comes with few amazing customizations, which also includes the lock screen customizations. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I have the IQ 12, which is currently running on the latest build of FunTouch OS, which is FunTouch OS 14, which is based on Android 14. The device security patch still November 2023, but IQ have promised that they'll be receiving three years of software update with four years of security patch update. First thing which we notice on the device soon after having it in our hands and that's the animation. Animations are too good now on FunTouch OS 14. There are a very less jitters to be seen but in some situations we have noticed a little bit of mistouch happenings. Overall we have smoother transition while switching between different applications. Animations are very well tuned and we also get to see this blurry effect whenever we pull down the notification panel. Though in quick setting tiles you won't see any kind of major change but it looks a way cleaner. And before moving ahead if you are new to this channel and if you think our content is useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing. One good thing what I could did this time is they removed all the unwanted applications like bloatways which used to include hot apps and hot games. You won't find any such applications pre-installed on your device. So here a great thumbs up to Aiku for doing this. But I would say Aiku would have done more and also removed some applications like vStore which provides you the notifications once in a day. And after that we also have the applications like browser which provides almost 4 to 5 notifications a day. And that looks pretty bad on a device with 50k pricing. Some pre-installed bloatwares you'll get like Facebook but these applications can be easily uninstalled. The only problem here is with the applications like browser. So there's not even an option to disable it. I have personally turned off the notifications so that I don't receive any kind of unwanted notifications from the applications like browser. I know there are methods by using ADB we can disable these applications but a non-techie guy won't take that initiate. And another bloatware which I personally feel it should have been removed which is called as Jovi Home. For me it's another bloatware present for no reason. It's a personal assistant present on Vivo and IQ phones. Also this locks in posters looks pretty bad. Though you have the option to disable it which you can just go to the settings by going to the locks and poster services you can make that choice. So I would say if Aiko gets rid of these applications like browser, Jovi Home and V App Store, people will be more interested in buying Aiko phone. And now let's talk about some of the customization options present on Aiko smartphone with FunTouch OS 14, which I actually love them all. So like One UI 6, we do have the locks and customizations present on FunTouch OS 14 with different clock styles and date styles which you can choose from and there's also few clock font pre-installed. Along with that you can make changes in the accent color of that particular clock and the date style. You can also add quick information for example like signature on the lock screen. And I know OnePlus users are eagerly waiting for this feature. After that they have also introduced these kinetic wallpapers, a huge set of kinetic wallpapers. One of them is this ascent where you can set the goal of steps and once completion of the target a cumulative step count will be generated during the use of this wallpaper. After that you also have two more wallpapers and again after completing the target the flower will be in full bloom. After that I also also like the EOD styles present on FunTouch OS 14 which you can see here and all of them are really good. Aiko also added a brand new feature called small window which can be triggered directly from the recent page. So here you can see towards the bottom side there's an option called small window and the good thing is you can have max up to 12 applications in that small window running at the same time. So if I select the second window, the first window got minimized and later on you can access those applications from this sidebar. As said you can have 12 applications at the same time running here. The gallery application also got some new features for example if you have any video to edit, going to edit section, you can import that video in original quality and you also get the option to change the resolution plus the frame rate which can be directly done from the gallery application. In this new gallery application you do have the different speed modes in which you can increase the speed of your video or you can lower the speed. There's also an option of loop. We also have the option to crop to fit on the screen. And another great thing which we noticed on FunTouch OS 14 is the RAM management and it is really good guys. I've been personally using this device and the RAM management is best in class right now on IQ 12. You'll find 90 99% of the applications running in the background without getting reloaded. And one example is this BGMI application. Yesterday also I played one or two TDMs in the night and morning again when I open the game 
to test out the game was still running in the background. So here I would seriously say I could have done a great job in the RAM management with Funtouch OS 14. But we'll get better idea once we do an entire speed test where we also do RAM management test. So this speed test will be coming pretty soon. The phone has a huge battery of 5000mAh and the battery backup is decent enough for me as per my usage. Let me show you the SOTs which I have been getting. So this is the first SOT wherein I got 5 hours and 20 minutes of screen on time with my normal usage. I just used basic applications, no gaming was done. And the second day you can see I got 4 hours and 50 minutes of screen on time. So with 5000 mAh battery I think it's good I won't say the battery life is great right now on Funtouch OS 14 or you can say iQ 12. But a battery drain test will be coming soon with OnePlus 11 so stay tuned for it. And when we talk about the conclusion I would say it's still not the best UI right now. There are still few things which iQ can improve like getting rid of more applications like browser, app store etc. Hardware wise it's a great phone with pretty good performance. According to you guys, does iQ still requires to improve on their OS or not? Let us know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.